Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Yes, hello. Hello? Yeah, hi. Thank you for connecting Amazon. This is Alex. How may I help you? I, I don't know, Alex. I got a, a, a voicemail from this number, but there was nothing on the voicemail. It was just 29 seconds of silence. So I don't know right. what I don't know what it was about. Uh, actually, this is about your Amazon, sir. You have made an order. You're buying an iPhone 11 Pro Max from your Amazon account. I'm buying a what? You're buying an iPhone 11 Pro Max from your Amazon account. Mm, not that I know of. And like, a, apart from you, someone else use your Amazon account, so you're the only user who use it. Well, I'm the only one that uses it. How? Why would anybody else use it? I okay. Don't... So we just simply go ahead and cancel this order right now. Once we yeah, cancel okay. the money. The money, it will be refundable to your account, okay? Oh, okay, yeah, so, Can, cancel that, please. Yep, so Thank can you, you please to let me know how do you go use your Amazon account by the help of your tablet, cell phone, or computer? No, my computer. Can you please be in front of that? So I just go ahead and send you the cancellation form to cancel this order. Uh, cancellation, can't you just cancel it? No, you have to fill up the cancellation form, sir. Oh, all right. All right, just a minute. I gotta go. Uh, let me sit down here. Okay, I'm here. Right. Now, is your computer on at the moment? Yes. Now, just try to open the Google, please. Okay, it's open. Right. Now, type on the Google www dot. Okay. Now, what come up? Who says you want to hear the cookie? Use cookies. Except. Yep, click on accept okay. cookies. All right, now it says download by. Click on download. Oh. A, uh, you can see the blue color box says download, right? Now, at the same time, sir, you just go ahead and be handy with a pen and paper as well because you will get the cancellation ID number. Okay. Okay. It says down in the corner, Supremo EXE. Correct. Click on it. Your ID, password. Yeah, the right... Correct. Write it on this ID in a piece of paper. You have to verify me that first, so I can generate the cancellation form. Five five six three one four seven two three. Right. And the password? Four seven zero seven. Okay. Just write it on this ID in a piece of paper, please. Okay. Right. Once you've done that, please let me know. Okay. I'm all set. I got it. Right. Now, what you need to do is just minimize that box. Now, try to open the Google. Google, okay. Now, once you open the Google, please let me know. It's open. You will get the, yeah, we will get the cancellation form on your screen, sir. Once you got oh, the form on yeah, your I screen. I see it. It says, uh, okay. refund form. HP iOS and tell, wow, it's got everybody on here. Refund right. policy. Yep. Okay. That's option one. Which option do I need? Option one? No, you don't have to choose your option. Just go ahead and put it down the first name and the last name. Okay. On the on the cell phone and the like on your home phone, you have to put it down XXX. You don't have to put it down your number. Okay. On your cell phone as well, sir. Oh, you don't need that. Yes, don't need it. Email, you need that. Mm-hmm. The amount, I don't know. It's six hundred forty-nine dollars. Refund purpose. Mm -hmm. Put it down the purpose. What is it? You have an yeah. You have an order. My bank. What do you need all this for? I don't understand. The that money will be reversed to you on that bank you which you bank with. Government of the United States. Mm -hmm. What do they got to do with it? Right. What, I don't understand. What What do you can see? This is government of the United States. Yes. Why? I don't know why. Mm -hmm. What do they care? Okay, I got it all filled in now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, once you've done that, click on submit. The form will be get submit. Refund form has been processed. Correct. Okay. Do you do online banking or not, sir? You just to let me know. 
because the money we have sent it to your bank so you have to go ahead and log into your bank and check the status of your refunds okay so you have to verify me the transaction id number once you get that transaction id number so write it down in a piece of paper and you have to verify me that and our work has been done where would it be am i checking yep on you have selected on your checking account right yes I don't see anything. I wonder if I got a notification. No yeah, notifica please. No notifications. It uh, means like, can you please check your account activities or statement? Account activity, monthly statement, checking. No, nope, not there. And like, do you remember what was the last balance you have on your bank? Do you remember that? No. You haven't remembered that, sir. Like, if if the money it will be credited, so how you would know, know that, sir? That money has been well, credited uh, on your account. It would say, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it say who it was from? From the when, Amazon. When, yeah, it would say Amazon. Yeah. I haven't got anything from Amazon. You haven't received anything, right? No. Okay. So what we will do, sir? We just simply go ahead and send that money by on your card, okay? So okay. which card? Right. So, which card do you want that money on your debit card or on your credit card? Which card do you want it? Just cancel the order. What have I got to do all this for? Can't you just cancel the order? Exactly, sir. The cancellation yeah. has been updated in okay. our server. Cancel. So it then. we are refunding that money to you. Okay. Six hundred forty-nine dollars. Right. Okay. So I'm all set, right? Yes. Okay. So can you please let me know which card you want that money on your debit or your credit credit i guess you want that, that money well, on that's your what i usually use when i go to amazon i've got a card the card on file with amazon mm -hmm. okay yes sir. so it would have so came it would have come off that card right right okay so that's, the so that's the reason i'm asking you which card you want that money on okay. the credit card on the debit card. I want the credit card that they charged it on. I want to put okay. back on that. I, that's what right. I want. I didn't order it. Okay, so you do one thing. Just log out from your account and just go ahead and log into your Amazon once again. It says site can't be reached. Mm -hmm. You have to put it down the Amazon, sir. I did put Amazon. Can you please check the spelling out over there? Maybe you have put it on the wrong word over there on the Amazon. Amazon.com. It's Amazon.com. It's A M A C O N. Oh. Okay. Now click on sign in. You, 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 you go to. Uh uh. I can't find it. Maybe you have put it down your number, like a cell phone number. Oh, maybe I did. I don't know. Yep. No. No, right? No. no. Hold on. I don't know what to do here. Just cancel it. Exactly, sir. You close it. Well, let me just go ahead and send that money on here. Okay. Great credit card, okay? Now, yes. maybe just go ahead and open the notepad by your end. Notepad, okay. Now, once you open the notepad, sir, just put it down to the card number, expiry date. Name on the card. Which card you want that money? Okay. Yeah. That, that, yep. Okay. It will be much right. easier. You don't have to do anything. Nine, okay. Seven, eight. What else you need? Sorry. Come again. I I didn't hear what else you said to put down. There's my credit card number right there. Right. Then card expiry date. Oh. Card expiration date. Zero, five. Twenty-four. 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 Okay. And the name on the card should be oh. your, your name. Well, I hope so, yes. Okay. Now, put it down the CVV number as well. The what number? CVV number. On the back side of the card, you can see the three-digit number that is called a CVV number. And once you're done that, please let me know. Yeah, I did it. Now, now close that. Okay. Now, now once you close it, and you don't have to do anything. Let me just go ahead and complete my work, okay? Now, look on the bottom. You can see that my, uh, like a Supreme box over there. Yeah. Click on it. Okay. Now, you can see it says like tool. Click on tools. Tools? Oh. Yep. 
Right. Now click on advanced. Uh, advanced? Advanced, right. Okay. Now click on the password protected, the configuration. Where? I don't see it. Below the language, you can see that. Oh, check mark. Check yeah. that? Okay. Now, now put it down the password. It should be 23456. Now reconfirm that password. Okay. Click on save. Okay. Now click on option now. Option? Yes. Okay. okay. Now click on install now. Install what? Install. You can see that. Configure, then install. Click on that. Install. Printer. What do I have to install a printer driver to get my money back for? Correct. It says sir. printer it driver. Yes. You are installing the Supremo, okay? Because I have a printer. Once you install, hold on. Once you install that Supremo, so I can able to go ahead and send that money into your card, okay? By the what? help of your computer. But I don't have a printer. It's not asking the printer. You can put it down to install. Then the Supremo will be get installed on your computer. It says install Supremo printer driver. Printer I don't drive, have a printer. Right. I don't have a printer. No issue for that, sir. Okay, close that. Minimize it. Minimize it. Minimize it. Okay. Now, now leave it. Let me just go ahead and help you out for that. To so go ahead and send that money by the help of the West City Union. Okay. Now you can see that the mouse is moving. Yeah. Right. Now you have to wait. So we just go ahead and send that money by the help of the West Union, and that money will Maybe be direct credit. Maybe it went credit. into this bank account. I wonder if you you sent it to this one by mistake. Uh -huh. Let's see. Is that where you sent it, Ben Chod? Huh? All right, exactly, exactly, sir. That's, That's where you your Ben Chod. That's yes. where you sent it, Ben Chod, you scamming Yes, clock. you are. We will scam you again and again, you stupid. You won't scam bet. nobody, you stupid Fuck fucker. Up. You stupid You are the fucker. stupid. You are the you, stupid. You are the stupid. support how may I help you today I don't know I got a phone call and something wrong with my computer to call this number uh, what exactly thing to you sir it says a uh, suspicious activity on my computer and it was blocked okay and what were you doing the time you got this alert well, I was uh, trying to go to uh, Facebook okay did you click on any kind of link or anything did I what? Did you did you click on any kind of a link or any uncertain website you think was not safe or secure? Did you click on any kind of an advertisement there? I, I, I might have. I don't know. I was clicking around. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, sir, we need to go ahead and connect your computer to the Microsoft server, and we need to check it for you. I, uh, is your computer right in front of you? Yes. Okay, I'll be giving you some of the troubleshooting steps that you need to follow, okay? Look at your keyboard. Okay. On the left side, bottom corner of your keyboard, do you see a key that says CTRL? Yes. What is the next key right to the CTRL? The flag key. The flag key. What you need to do is you need to press and hold down the flag key and at the very same time press down the letter R. Okay. R as in Rogers. Press and hold and yeah. let them go. And, and this thing popped up. Type the name of program folder. Right. That now, in that box. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, in that box, type I as in Indiana. I. I'll click on OK. Windows cannot find I Explorer. Make sure you type the name completely, correctly. Uh, I guess you, I guess you typed in something wrong, sir. I guess you still have the box on your screen that says "I explode in it." No, it went away when. It, oh, now it does. I got it. T I e x p l o r e. Dot. No, you have to give the space. You have to make a gap. Space bar. Oh, space. Up is still says Windows cannot find I explore. Okay, let's try it again. Just erase everything that you can see there. Okay. Now what? Now type in now type it again. I not me. Windows cannot find now, I explore. 
Why does it say that? Okay, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. You're Microsoft. This... I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me try something else here, sir. Okay. Now go ahead and type in there H H as in hotel. It says jump now, to this URL. Type, right. Now in that box type www dot Okay, support connection. Enter your six digit code. Then right. Uh, let me give you the six let me give you the six digit code, sir. Okay. Your code is two eight. Two eight. Cannot download the application is missing required. Files, contact application vendor for assistance. Now, do you see any options to click on OK, yes, or cancel? It says OK. Click on OK. OK, now it says, do you want to run or save this file? Click on Run. OK, a support representative will be with you shortly, it says. Right, I'll be there with you very shortly, sir. OK. okay. You are chatting with Elizabeth Chandler. Me, sir. Now you're getting the options to click on OK, yes, and allow access. Elizabeth Chandler would like to perform one or more actions on this computer. Yes, that's, that's me, sir. Did that's you, me. Okay, click okay. on OK. Okay, Elizabeth. Yep. Okay, and here we go. We're connected. Uh, you can see my cursor moving there on your computer screen, right? Yeah, it's moving all over, yeah. Okay, now we're connected. Now you can sit back, relax, and let me just go ahead and check what exactly happened there, okay? Oh, okay. All right. All right, now I'm going to run a quick scan here, sir. You need to bear with me for a minute or two, okay? Okay. Please stay on the line and do not mind my silence. I'm okay. right here, okay? All right. Thanks. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nibu pani choro iri bhancho, Barnali ka bacha bola bhancho, Dil tura ke paaji bole. Sir, how much time do you get in your life to call random people and, you know, just do this you're, random You're not thing? a random person. You're a fucking scammer. You're a Am scammer. I? No, you are a fucking prank caller, you know. You're just calling me and disturbing me in disturbing my Disturbing you? Hours. Disturbing you, you from stealing yes, from you're people? Disturbing me. Disturbing you from stealing that is from my, people. That is, that is my fucking job to steal money from That's people. That's your fucking Why job to steal money. Well, at least you admit it, you fucking rundy. Fuck off. You rundy bitch. <laughs>